Mm. Good morning, baby. Today I woke up and two things came into my head. First one, why did I dream about someone throwing jackets at my house? And number two, I realized that I never have done e-girl makeup. I've always teetered on the line. I feel like I was the most e-girl-esque two, three years ago, um, but I've never like fully committed to the look. And I've always wanted to try it and just like see how I looked. And the whole e-girl aesthetic brings me a lot of joy. It just, it hits the right part of my scene girl brain. Like when I look at e-girls, like, you know, the DVD screensaver and it goes boop, 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 boop. It just hits the corner. I'm like, oh, oh, it is stunning. It's beautiful. I, I really love it. And so I, I'm going to do it today. Before I start this video, I wanted to say, number one, I have a sponsor. Thank you so much, MD Acne, for sponsoring my video. I'll talk more about them later. And number two, thank you so much for all the kind words on my home tour video. I look back on it now and I'm like, damn, I could have just like wiped more or cleaned up more, but that was genuinely the state of my house. And the fact that all of you can relate to it in some sort of way just gives me joy. Once I get more pieces from my place, I'm definitely going to do like an update or like a roundup video. Um, I've been showing glimpses of like what I've purchased uh, on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can go check it out. It's Makersoft. Um, first part's M-E-I and then Crowsoft. Every day that I don't get a cease and desist from Bill Gates is a lovely day for me. I have no idea how I've gotten so long with Makersoft. See, originally I wanted mayonnaise, like mayonnaise, but M-E-I, but that was taken. Whoever took it before me is a genius and I hope they're doing well. And my dumbass didn't realize what SEO was when I first made it. Cause uh, come on, I was like, gosh, I was like 19. I was like, oh, this is hilarious. But now since social media is basically my full-time job, I'm like, ooh, shot myself in the foot there. But yeah, if you want to go check out my home stuff I post on my stories at Makersoft. Before I start this video, a word from our sponsor, MD Acne. This video is sponsored by MD Acne. With MD Acne, starting your acne treatment is as easy as snapping a selfie. The app uses technology that understands your unique skin conditions and delivers customized products right to your door. With MD Acne, you have unlimited access to chat with a dermatologist who can help you with any questions or doubts you may have throughout the treatment. On the right hand side of the video, you can see me just going through the MD Acne app and just plugging all my information as well. For me, my biggest concerns are irritation, redness, and active breakouts. So they gave me a cleanser that has salicylic acid in it, which I use once every three days. And they gave me a moisturizer, which I love because it has a lot of niacinamide in it, which is perfect for calming my skin and just calming the irritation as well. Customize your acne treatment with MD Acne. Use my link in the description and get your first month of customized products for free. Shipping fees may apply. <laughs> Thank you so much, MD Acne, for sponsoring this video, and let's go turn myself into an e-girl. The look that I'm going to recreate today is from Eve FRSR. They're on YouTube, they're on Instagram. You've probably seen their faces around. Um, when I typed in e-girl makeup, they're the first things that show up. So it's meant to be, baby. So when I take a look at their makeup, I'll put a photo right here of what I'm looking at. They have straight brows, blush basically from here to here, around the nose, a nice blotted lip, which is my favorite, and a cute little double winged liner moment here. Right now I have a whole slew of Google images just to like see if there's a common theme between all e-girl makeup. And it looks like they're using a medium Kind of full fuller coverage like a demi matte finish foundation so i'm gonna do the same thing danny if you're watching this video i know how you called me out for not talking my microphone into my shirt and you know what a spiteful bitch i am so i'm just gonna leave it out this is my this is me now it's called accessorizing look it up so for my medium coverage foundation because i do have combo skin i like to use something slightly radiant so i'm going to use the l'oreal infallible pro glow in the shade 203. i used to be such a beauty blender person way back when and i still am however i love the coverage that a brush gives and i feel like it just obviously because the beauty blender is wet the brush just mattifies the foundation a little more another thing that i've noticed is that they tend not to use a lot of like warm tone bronzers um if anything they use like a cool contour on the cheekbones i'm going to just 
toss that to the side for now. Maybe I'll add it at the end if I feel like it. So I did the foundation. I'm gonna go to the, oh, I should have done the brows first. Yep, should have done the brows first. I'm gonna take my trusty Elmer's purple glue and just glue down the ends. Kind of do like an upward and then outward motion. To set my eyebrow tails, I'm just gonna go ahead with a little bit of translucent powder. I'm gonna use the Kosas Concealer in 3.5. Just a little bit right there. And then around my nose. I tried to go as close to my under eye circle, but not completely covering it, if that makes any sense. I feel like that's what looks best on my face. And I'll do the sides of my nose, but I won't cover this part because this is where it already has some natural blush. So what I do to cover up my eyebrow hairs is that I use a mixture of concealer with a eyeshadow base. So I'm gonna use the Kosas Concealer and the Danessa Myricks Color Fix in Nude 3. The reason why I use these two together to cover up my brows is because I like the concealer because I'll match my face a little better. And with the, um, the Danessa Myricks color fix, because it is so pigmented, it'll cover up the brow hairs. Because when I start using multiple layers on my eyebrows, I feel like it just starts to gunk up a little bit. So less is more. So I try to get the job done in one go. Just dab it on. Ta-da! Look like a me character. Oh, fuck. No, I'm okay, I'm good. All right, babe, don't be reckless. While this is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the blush. I am super excited. I love blush. So it looks like they're using kind of a muted red shade. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So on their face, it looks like they're wearing kind of like a reddish blush, which I do have. Um, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Love Me Not Pressed Powder Blush. Look how cute, it's a little heart. And because it looks like it goes into an eyeshadow look, I'm gonna use a powder rather than a cream because my eyelids are quite oily and I find that cream moves around quite a bit and I want it to be as cohesive as possible. So I might as well just use powder all over my face. If this could just open, that'd be stunning. I would really appreciate that. Looks like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take a beat up, really loose um, Inglot 1SS brush. So the strategy is that it goes from here all the way to here. So I'm gonna just stamp it. Whew, the moment of truth, okay. I just realized that they probably have a YouTube video on how to do this look. I should have watched it for research, but this is just how I interpret how they do the look, so. <laughs> because they have quite prominent eyelids and I don't, I'm gonna deepen the crease with this shade and then bring it into a nose contour. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows just to see what I'm working with and make changes if need be. Just edge out the general shape. Because the shape is quite bold, I'm actually gonna use kind of a softer color rather than my usual black pencil. So I'm gonna mix it in with a cool toned brown. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna use uh, from the Kimchi Chic X Naomi Smalls Two Queen and One Desert palette. Love this palette. I'm gonna use the shade Mad Maxine right there 
with an angled brush. I'm gonna go in with highlighter now. I'm gonna use the XX Revolution Highlighter in Bubble. It's a transparent highlighter, but it has a lot of sparkle to it. I'm gonna use this for underneath my eyebrows. I'm gonna tap a little bit on my cheekbones and down my nose. Now for the liner, uh, it is a double winged moment, so I'm just going to do my regular eyeliner, drag it in, and then do the bottom. That's the start we're going to go with today. <laughs> Sorry for being not super chatty when I do my eyeliner. <laughs> Your girl's got to focus. All right. That is what the top liner looks like. Originally, I used the House Labs Precision Liner, which I do love. However, it's on its last legs. So I'm trying out the Makeup Revolution Liquid Eyeliner. Oh, this is... Harder than it looks. <laughs> okay. And in true e-girl fashion, I'm gonna do a couple of hearts right here and here. So I am going to repowder my face because that's something I need to do. And I'm gonna put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Come on. Oh, it's adorable. It's adorable. So I realized I'm just gonna add a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, the really big fluffy brush. Just right there. Down my jawline. Home stretch. So it looks like Eve is doing this kind of like muted red pinky blotted look, which I love. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in medium. And then for the lip liner, I'm going to use the Elf Retro Paradise Lip Liner. You can see how much I love it. Um, I can't find it anywhere. So Elf, if you're watching this, probably not, please this one thank you <laughs> the trick with my blurred makeup looks that always make sure that there's a little bit of moisture on my lips so the lip liner can glide easier and I can blur it out without it leaving chunks oh, I hate that word it does not have to be super precise so we're gonna blur it out with the thingy. So to blur it out, you can use a Q-tip. I use my finger. Lipstick, I'm just gonna put on the inside and blur it out. It wouldn't be me if I didn't add my beauty mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Come on, choke me like you hate me. Am I right? Am I? Stunning. Ha! Look at me. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The brows are cute. The eyeshadow, we got the blush. You could add mm. more blush. More blush. More blush. 
Let me know in the comments if I did a, a bang on job, if I did not. Honestly, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just realized that I didn't say my hi, my name is May like the month intro. Whew, I'm slipping. Hi, my name is May like the month outro it is. My name is May like the month. And you just watch me do some e-girl makeup, baby. Is that good? Is that good? Okay, okay, I hope you have a stunning day. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.